In the previous lecture, we understand how to use this print statement. Now let's take a look at Python numbers and arithmetic operators. Python interpreter can be used as powerful calculator. For example, you can perform simply addition just like this and get the result. Or you can perform complex addition no matter how long the value is. If you execute this statement, Python will return the result of this complex mathematical operation. All the usual arithmetic operators work as expected. Now let's take a look at the division operator. I'm going to just say here 1 divide by 2. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have the result. Now this is the decimal numbers and this is what we call a float number. So this type of number is called floating number. If I just say here 1 divide by 1, I'm going to have a 1.0. Now what if you want to get the integer number? As I said, this is a floating number. What if you want to get the integer number? You just need to specify here double forward slash just like this. When you execute this statement, you're going to get this integer number. You can also divide 1 by 2 and 5 by 2. That doesn't matter. You're going to get the integer number as a result. Now to divide two numbers, you can use asterisk. So what if I want to divide this 1 by 2? I'm going to use asterisk here, execute the statement, I'm going to have the result just like this. I'm going to use asterisk to divide two numbers. So this is simple arithmetic operators in Python. Now let's look at a close relative of the division operator, which is modulus operator. So I'm going to just say here print and I'm going to say here 10, specify modulus operator and then say 3. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have a 1. This operator is closely related to division operator. It's divide 10 by 3. And now if you say 9 modulus by 3, I'm going to have here 0. And if you want to calculate the floating number, you can say 2.25 modulus by 0.5, you're going to get the value in the floating number. If you calculate the floating number, you're going to get the value as a result in the floating number. Now let's take a look at very easy and magical operator, which is power operator. A power operator returns the power of the number. For example, if I just say here 2, then specify power operator and then specify 3, I'm going to have the power of the number 2. Then if I want to get the power of the minus 3, I'm going to just say here minus 3, specify power operator, and then I'm going to say here 2. I'm going to have minus 9 here as a result. That's super easy to calculate the power of the number. Now, for an exercise, use negative and the floating number with an arithmetic operator and see the result. Once we have the basic understanding of arithmetic operators, let's take a look at what is variable and how to create it in Python. A variable is a name or you can say a label that represent a value. Variables in Python are easy to understand. For example, you might want to store your name in the variable for future use. You will create a variable name, specify equal to sign and specify value to this label. I'm going to choose string as a value to this variable. If you want, you can choose numbers as well. Now, this is the label of the variable and this is going to be the value of the variable. I'm going to just print this variable using print statement. When I try to print this statement, I'm going to have value daily tuition. So now let me explain this statement. We use equal assignment operator to assign value to the variable. You're not limited to only store string value to these labels. You can specify number, dictionaries, sequence, and so on. Assignment operators are probably the most important type of statement in any programming language. You can store numbers and expression as well. For example, if you want to store a number here, you can specify here 5. So this label is going to represent this number. When you execute the statement, I'm going to have 5 here. Now you can store expressions as well in the variable. For example, let's say I have two variables x and y. x variable have value 5 and y variable have value 5. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new variable result and multiply both this variable. So down here, I'm going to just say here result is equal to and say x multiply by y. I'm going to store the result in this result variable and I'm going to just print this in the print function. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have 25. I'm going to have the expression in this result variable. Variable can store, variable can store simple and complex expressions. Variable may just seem like temporary storage, but the real power of the variables is that you don't need to know what values they hold in order to manipulate them. Let me just give you a very simple exercise. Create three variables and store your first name, last name, and your age. And use print statement to print your first name, last name and your age. 